Guillaume Pépi, you are the chairman and the CEO of SNCF, the French uh, Railway uh, Authority. Thank you very much for coming to the World Policy Conference. As a big businessman, what is your attitude towards Brexit? Hmm. I don't think it's going to change much in, in our sector because British people will still have, I would say, necessity and also happiness to come to Europe. And the French, you know, they love to come to London. So I don't expect any big change. Moreover, we are also a train operating company in UK. We operate several franchises. And I don't see any reason why the British people would travel by train less after Brexit. What do you see as the role now of nationalized industries in Europe? I mean, there was, a, and if you go back to the period of Maggie Thatcher in Britain, and also actually the period of Lionel Jospin in France, you had privatizations. What is the role now of companies that remain in state control? Well, it doesn't make a big difference, you know. When you're state-owned, like we are, you have, I would say, the uh, duty to see the things on a long-term perspective. Uh, mobility, uh, investment in mobility is a long-term issue. We invest for 20 or 30 or more, 40 years. So being a state-owned company, mean be, being part of the, of the country itself, gives you enough uh, horizon to, to see the, th the things on a long-term basis. That, that's a difference. But when you run the company, and I'm a manager, you run it exactly as it would be private. But presumably, I mean, if you're a private company, you're under pressure from shareholders, particularly with quarterly reporting. As a state company, I'm not talking specifically about SNCF, but as a, in any state company, you must be competing for finance from the Treasury, from the government. No, we don't have finance from the Treasury. We are under a strong pressure of the customers on one side and the stakeholders on the other side, the local community and the uh, public transport authorities. So it's another kind of pressure. but. Believe me, it's even stronger. But for investment, I mean, aren't you competing with hospitals or with defense or roads or...? Yeah, but it's, it's already planned on a long-term basis with, with a long-term contract. So uh, we, we don't have to fight every morning for getting money, except for getting money from the customers. A final question. What do you like or dislike about the World Policy Conference? What, what does it give you? Well, it's the first time I'm attending the conference and uh, I'm impressed by the, the level of discussion that we uh, heard this morning. I think that the, the preliminary speeches were of a very high level, very interesting. And from my perspective, I will insist on the uh, mobility revolution all around the world. Things are moving extremely fast because people are looking for door-to-door solutions, not just on a train or buses. They want to, us to be 100% digitalized and they want also us to uh, give the best value for money because there is a high level of, of competition with carpooling, car sharing, low-cost airline. So it's a very, very competitive environment. And here in the Middle East, the thing which is interesting is that this region has made tremendous investment to, I would say, anticipate the future. And especially here in Doha, we're part of a $45 billion investment to create three metro lines and three light rail lines, which are going to be ready by the World Football Club 2022. And that's a world record. That is impressive. Guillaume Pepi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.